Now, as you know that we were reading this chapter Bholi, and here in this chapter we have read about a young about a girl named Sulekha. Okay, she was actually her name was Sulekha, but throughout the chapter she has been called as Bholi. Why? Because she was one of a simpleton child. So she has grown up after come going to school, and then afterwards, what has happened that uh, that she was given. Uh, a chance to get married and bishambar babu or bishambar nath who is one of the you can say rich man has a good grocery shop and has much money deposited in the bank according to the chapter he has come up with the marriage proposal uh, bholi's parents immediately got ready to get her married okay what is the reason because they thought that she would never otherwise get a chance to get married okay and she would also not get you can say a good match like that of bishambar nath why bishambar nath was considered as a good match for her because he was wealthy okay but what but bholi she knew the problem in that match she 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 got ready to get married why oh, because of the sake of her parents she knew okay but later on what happened when it was time for you can say for the final marriage ceremony what happened in spite of putting a garland in each other's you can say neck what happened bholi flung it aside and the garland fell into the fire okay it fell into the fire and she said that she won't marry this man so what is the reason now we are going to read further okay so the reason was that of course she was demanding dowry dowry for how much that is 5000 rupees okay and it was not possible for ramlal his father her father to give <coughs> that much of money now see this last page <coughs> last page it is page number 61 now so when i am relating it to the previous page okay see this pita ji take back your money i am not going to marry this man and she announced without stammering that pitaji i am not going to marry this man and please take your money ramlal was thunderstruck he was surprised that what this happened he has come with the with complete you can say procession to marry this girl and she is denying that she is not going to marry why he was surprised the guests began to whisper there was whispering among guests what happened why the girl is saying i am not going to marry what is the reason so shameless so ugly and so shameless now this kind of talk if you can say it started among the people that they were discussing in this manner so shameless why this girl is denying of marry and that was really a big question mark upon a girl that why she is not ready to get married okay when the complete procession has reached her doors and she is saying no why and you know that it is really very difficult to stand against society because people they want even girls to move on the firm set lines of society and if they are going a bit aside from those lines nobody is ready to accept that change and this is what has happened bholi are you crazy shouted ramlal his father what happened to you are you mad are you crazy you want to disgrace your family have some regard for your for our izzat okay so this is the only thing that parent used to tell okay he said just take care of our you can say our you can say esteem okay our position in the village that i am ram nambadar and you are saying you are not going to marry this man and see now the procession has reached our you can say door and you are saying not to get married what is the reason behind all this so at once you can say his father was also surprised to know the reason that why she is not ready to get marry this man okay so what is the reason for that you want to disgrace your family have you regard for her izzat or not for the sake of your izzat bholi said i was willing to marry this lame old man but i will not have such a mean greedy and and contemptible god as my husband i won't i won't and i won't she said it was just because of your izzat it is just because of your esteem that i was ready to marry this man but now this man who is so you can say greedy in nature who is asking for money and it is just because of you 
just because of you can say having this you can say sake for the sake of your you can say esteem i'm not going to the man going to marry this man okay she said never and never and never i won't so see the girl see the drastic change that has taken place in her just from the start and now till now what has happened okay so she was stammering in the starting she was not able to speak her name properly she was stammering a lot and now at this point what has happened that she is speaking such last sentences okay right so how this has happened okay so this is of course the result of the education that she has gained what a shameless girl we all thought she was a harmless dumb cow now someone saying that we are thinking that she is just like a dumb cow who would not be able to speak anything and now see how shamelessly she is speaking in front of all bully turn violently on the old women yes aunty you are right you all thought i was a dumb driven cow that's why you wanted to hand me over to the heartless creature but now this dumb cow the stammering fool is speaking do you want to hear more now she got annoyed the old woman who has spoken that sentence that shame that we were thinking that she was harmless dumb cow she turned to that woman yes aunty i was dumbless i was dumb cow you people thought me to but actually but now i have learned to speak now i know what is right and what is wrong and she said that you people thought that i am dumb cow and hand me over to any person this this heartless creature who did not value relations who did not value your your feelings yes i am going to marry this man and what do you want to hear more for me bishambar nath the gr the grocer he started to go back with his party the confused bands man thought this was the end of the ceremony and struck up a closing song now bishambar das said now let's go let's go let's go back now see the situation of those band men they thought that the marriage has been done and they started with the vidai song and closing song but that was not so ramlal stood rooted to the ground his head bowed low with the weight of grief and shame ramlal was standing there his head down he did not know how to react okay because it was finally the grief the sadness as well as the shame that he has suffered the flames of the sacred fire slowly died down okay so now the flames of sacred now the sacred fire which has been lit for those fera it slowly settles down everyone was gone people were moving towards their houses you can very well imagine and ramlal turned to holi and said but what about you no one will ever marry you now what shall we do with you now ramlal he asked his daughter now tell me what should i do with you do you know that no one is going to marry you again and on top of this you have returned that you can say bridegroom from our house who is ready to marry you so what is the reason behind it now sulekha said in a voice that was calm and steady don't you worry pitaji in our your old age i'll serve you and mother and i will teach in the same school where i learned so much isn't that right ma'am so she said don't worry my dear father i will serve you when you will grow old i will take care of you okay when no one will be there and don't worry for me i will teach in the same school where i have got education and she turned towards her teacher who was also present there the teacher had all along stood in a corner watching the drama teacher was standing in the corner she was watching all that has happened she was not she was not speaking even a single word there yes bholi of course and in her smiling eyes was the light of a deep satisfaction that an artist feels when contemplating the completion of her masterpiece and she was looking at bholi with these kind of you can say with the kind of anticipation in her eyes that she tried to sculpt a masterpiece and now this is complete means she was trying to you can say to give a shape to the personality of a girl and that personality is finally ready who is ready to speak against odds who is ready to speak against the wrong things that are happening with her and who is ready to speak for herself and who is ready to assert herself and this is what that sculpture is that uh, you can say sculpture is all about that is the role of a teacher in making of a personality to make one realize what is right what is wrong and this has finally happened in this story
okay finally the role of teacher it has been brought down okay that the role of teacher is to teach what is right and what is wrong no doubt that it remains sometimes you can say objectionable uh, to the norms of society but this doesn't matter society is not always right because many of the things that we people think that we should not do it is just because of the fear of society what people will say this question is first put in front of us but thing is that you should know that what is right and wrong if it, if it is right you should not be afraid of anything and this is what this girl has done she knew that marrying that man it was not a right choice it was of course a bad choice because he was greedy if he has seen his pockmark he see has seen her pockmark face and is not ready to marry her that means that if today he is demanding some money later on he will also demand more money and who will fulfill these demands no one this is what has happened okay that she was what that she has proved herself okay so now this is all for this chapter and i hope that you all have enjoyed it a lot okay so now come back to the question answers for this chapter in between less question answers are given so we are going to the final part of the question answers here it is being displayed on the screens also and you will also open up your books on page number 62 it is on page number 62 the question answers are given so first question is bholi had many apprehensions so what is the meaning of apprehensions means apprehension means the feeling that something bad will happen okay some feeling that something bad will happen to her when she would go to school and what made her feel that she was going to a better place than her home yes so what were the apprehensions that she had what kind of apprehension she thought that something wrong is going to happen what what was that yes bilinda hmm hmm right she was stammering of course okay so when bholi was first told that she is going to school that she had first of all lot of apprehension the first thing was that she was afraid that when their cow lakshmi was taken out of the house it was never returned back she thought that in the same manner she would be going out of the house and she would not be able to come back again okay this was the first apprehension with her the next thing was that that she was also feeling afraid of the fact that uh, that because of her you can say because of her you can say stammering problem she would not be able to speak even a single sentence and for that reason what she thought that she when if somebody would ask her name how would she be able to answer she won't be able to answer okay and she won't be able to give the answer to that okay so for this reason what has happened that she felt so that it is really very difficult for her to face the crowd in that because she is going to be total you can say alienated at that place she did not know anybody there she was afraid how she would be able to cope up in the crowd there okay so these were the feelings but finally she came to know that it was a better place for her how she came to know how she came to know that it was a better place yes that's right no 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 why she thought that it was a better place for her to go why she thought it was a better place she thought that it was a better place for her to go because it was on the first time that she was given a new dress to wear okay moreover her hair were combed for the first time and her hair were oiled this kind of attention she has never gained earlier it is just because of this reason she thought that she is going to a better place okay right next question is how did bholi's teacher play an important role in changing the course of her life so how her teacher has changed the course of her life teacher has played a great role in changing the course of her life a teacher has the power to take a child out of darkness into complete light okay without you can say teacher the life is like just like of a plummet without sounding line okay plummet means with which uh, you can say the, the depth of the sea can be measured 
and it is just like a ship without a steering okay without a steering it is aimlessly moving in the ocean without any you can say on without any you can say aim and direction and ultimately it is only the teacher who can take a person out of ignorance into complete light of knowledge and this is what has happened in case of bholi also okay how it has happened in case of bholi that she has been completely taken out of her first of all apprehensions that she is that she would stammer she would not be able to speak properly she would not be able to express herself and it is just because of this reason okay what has happened that what has happened that that she has been completely taken out of that okay and she was what she was that she was uh, that she was taken out of her apprehension and that she was able to realize herself okay that she is of course as thought by all that she is a dumb cow but she was not a dumb cow okay she tried to assert herself for the first time she was able to express for her dignity for her respect she it is just because of her respect it was just because of her dignity that she spoke for the very first time right that she was able to express herself that she is a force a girl with feeling she of course knew what is right and wrong and from bholi okay from bholi her journey to sulekha it was all possible because of her teacher okay that it was her teacher who has taken her out of that you can say uh, this you can say world of ignorance and ultimately to world of light okay this is the transition that has taken place in bholi okay from the time when she is not able to speak her name only then what has happened she is able to speak complete sentences without stammering and of course the she has returned up with her dignity she has completely turned up with complete you can say genuinity of her you can say character that she is able to exp uh, to express herself girl of new thoughts who is able to stand against society because the day you remember the girl was not able to stand in front of children in school and now today is the day when she is going to represent herself as a you can say as a separate personality among the crowd and she is able to take the decisions of her life and all this is why it is possible it is not only because of any other reason it was just because of her teacher who has played a great role in bringing out her character out okay and it was just because of her you can say teacher right that she was able to do fine that's clear now right so next question is why did bholi at first agree to an unequal match and why did she later regret the marriage and what does this tell us about her why she first agree to that marriage yes because she submitted to the plans of her family to her father and mother because she heard her discussing them that otherwise if bishambar um, nath is not going to marry her then no one else would ever marry her and they thought her to be a burden okay they thought that the girl should settle in life she should marry she thought it so okay but later on what has happened but when she has come to know the exact nature that how heartless bishambar nath was okay then what happened she came to know about the about the reality of that creature or about the reality of that man that he was of course greedy in nature he asked for a dowry okay of 5000 rupees that was of course not possible for uh, for uh, ram lal to give but he even put his you can say turban uh in his foot okay but still that uh, that bishambar nath who was heartless creature he did not listen to any of the pleading and ultimately what happened ha huh? she denied to marry that man it was just because of her firm firm 
decision that she is not going to marry that heartless creature who will not who is not going to respect her parents it is just because of this reason because he is a heartless creature he is asking for dowry and even if today on the day of marriage after looking at her pock marked face he is asking for dowry then in the future time also he will have these kind of you can say he will desires to be fulfilled and this she never wanted to do and it is just because of this reason that she stood against his plans right okay so these are the few questions that we have to discuss today and tomorrow we will continue with further these questions now i am going to have you can say some general discussion about the uh, you can say about your internal assessment activities right